see the business side of you. And so I wonder, is there a balance that you have or, or something like a, a check off that you're like, all right, I've accumulated this, I'll now treat myself. Is there a balance with, when it comes to investing versus your spending? Um, we should all treat ourselves. <laughs> but this no is my advice to everyone in this room. My advice, please take it. If you make a hundred thousand, put fifty thousand up. Yes. You make if you make two million, put a million up. Cause I believe in putting up money for a rainy day, because you're gonna never know what can happen. A lot of us didn't expect for the pandemic to to happen. Definitely. You know, shit happens. You know, it's just that I'm happy that I made smart investments and I was good through the whole pandemic and I made sure my whole staff and my team was good. But Everyone, it's not me, but I'm gonna push. I, I'm here to push everybody to tell everybody. Every day we wake up, we got a chance and we got a choice. All any of us can be great, you know. Just because what I feel is great, you may not feel is great. What's great to you on a daily? What, 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 you what is great to me? Um, just being able to, we, you know, we take things for granted. Yes. You know, being able to see, you know, having ten fingers, having ten toes. Being able to walk, you know, being able to taste, mm -hmm. being able to smell. Because if we look at it, because I was speaking to a guy the other day, and uh, he was telling me about committing suicide. I'm like, yo, you tripping? Yeah. You know, and imagine all the people that that's not in your in, that's not in your predicament. Yeah. They got a choice and got a chance where someone got to help them walk, and you know they got to have a tube to talk. So we take a lot of things for granted, you know, just in life. Just in general, and I don't take nothing for granted. Yeah, and, and you say, what's great, just being able to spend time with my children, pushing them to be great, telling them whatever you want to accomplish in life, go for it. I'm not telling you to be like me, be better than me. Yeah. So let me ask you this as far as on the business side, you transitioned the game of boxing, sport of boxing, and 24-7. Um, Yes. And that's your idea. I showed you that I created, yes. And then now you see UFC doing it. Every, this Everybody is mixing So when, what was oh, in your brain? It's a, lot of things, it's a lot of things I created. You know, nobody would put, be putting the money to the air if it wasn't for me. It's a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which you created, you created the money from. There it is. Well, what, yeah, so 24-7. So what, what gave you that idea to chronicle your training camp and all of that? Just being outside the box. You know, not want to not want to be like everyone else. Like sometimes you may see, I may post a photo of. It's more. It's okay to be different, just because I may not dress like everyone else. They're like, oh, we don't like this. Well, you not if you not worldwide, you just the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, so we want to be worldwide. <laughs> you know, nope. I, I realize I'm cutting deals worldwide each and every day. You know, I'm, all around the world cutting deals. You know, I just was just in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. Abu oh. Dhabi, Dubai, Rome, Israel, and um, I'm jet setting. <laughs> <laughs> jet set, right? And it, it, it's not really bragging if you're really doing it. So I'm really doing it, so I'm not bragging. So most times you see, you know, on social media is to post. It's your so it's your platform to post what you want to post. It's my platform. So only thing I'm doing is posting what. But I only have. So when you see a garage with a ton of black cars, that's just one of my houses. Those are my cars. But guess what? The same people in this room can have the same stuff. So yes. like when you saw, because you used to be Pretty Boy Floyd, Absolutely. and you was extremely successful, but you changed to Money Mayweather, and that changed the game. So when you transitioned that, were you looking at it like, all right, I know people's going to hate, but 
this is good marketing and this is what I need to take my career to the next level. No more pretty boy, now it's money. So I wanna get this right. I just, I just wanna get this right. So I'm a kid that comes from poverty, comes from nothing. Seven of us in a one bedroom, mother on drugs, dad career didn't go good. Dad was ended up in prison and I beat all odds and worked extremely hard to get, to, get it the legal way. And, and I'm proud to boast and brag about getting it the legal way. <laughs> My own people is like, fuck him. We don't like him because he's successful. Too clean cut. It, it's, it, if you, if you win, if, if, I thought everybody in this room wanted to be a winner in life. Y'all want to be winners? Yeah. 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 So if we want to be winners, we only can follow winners. I mean, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not the one to knock anyone. You know, whatever you want to do in life, go for it. You know, um, I just can't be stopped at what, whatever I put my mind to do, I can do. You know, you, you, you know, when I was walking in New York, as a kid, did I ever, when I was young, did I ever think that I was going to own a skyscraper? I didn't think about it, but now I do. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, talk to us about maybe one of the biggest lessons you've learned.